around here. Yeah. Mom! Damn, that's a hottie. Oh my god! <laughs> We've known about this for two weeks, girl. I think I might know who your dad is. Do you think I may even know who your dad is? Maybe. Well, you might just have to find out here in just a second. really excited. Did you expect that at all? No. What was going through your mind when you turned around and saw I can't him? believe he's here. I think he's just a person in a costume. But he was real. Yeah.
Are you hungry now, Granny? JTF Gatmo in Guantanamo Bay, and I'm here to um, surprise my wife and my kids um, at the uh, militarykids.org um, celebration of uh, military children. Petty Officer First Class Intelligence Specialist Christopher Karnbach is currently deployed to Cuba, scheduled to return home at the end of this month. He and his wife Anne Marie are both music teachers. Their children, nine year old Christopher and seven year old Abigail, both received grants for martial arts during this deployment. What do you th how do you think they're going to react? Uh, they're going to freak. <laughs> they are, I, I, I mean, they're going to be completely surprised. Right, so, I guess we're going to go get ready. Skids, come on up. We have a commitment to support our families whenever and wherever they need it in any component. So it's great to be with you here today, General. Thank you much. Okay, kids. What do I need to do? Well, we got two kids and two boards. I think we need one more volunteer. The Admiral's brave enough. Let's look for one more person that uh, might volunteer. Somebody brave who's not afraid of splinters. How about you, sir? There's our volunteer right there. This has been a, a great opportunity for my children, and I'm sure as well as the other children, to, to give them something else to think about rather than their parent that's deployed downrange, whether it's um, Afghanistan or uh, Guantanamo Bay, all the various places they've been sent to.
this song, the time of my life, you give that to me. And, you know, I've, I've got to do this here because okay. this... <laughs> oh, no, Would you marry me? A Dancing with the Stars shocker. And for once, we're not talking about an elimination. Noah Galloway proposed to girlfriend Jamie Boyd, who didn't see it coming at all. I'm speechless. Said I'm never speechless. <laughs> That's a beautiful baby. I love you so much. I love you. Or is that a yes? Is that oh, a yes? Heck yes. <laughs> Noah got down on one knee during his backstage interview after earning rave reviews and a score of 36 out of 40 for his performance. Of course, the crowd went crazy. We see you, Demi Moore. Even Tom Bergeron needed a minute before throwing to a commercial break. Can I, can I borrow your tissues? Congrats to the happy couple. are special because a room full of Hazel Dell Elementary students honored our veterans. They may not have known some of them, but through this program, they learned the service they made for our country should be recognized. And everyone here today became a part of a touching moment between a mom and her daughter. At this time, we would like to welcome a very special guest. Who had no idea Petty Officer 2nd Class Laura Endicott was back from her five-month deployment aboard the USS Baton. Officer Second Class Endicott has served eight and a half years in our military. She worked for the Air Force, the Marines, the Army, and now the Navy. It's so nice to see all the, the, the other veterans, the actual veterans here. Every single one of them sacrificed a lot for us. For this mom, being away from her daughter has been tough. Just talking to her and seeing her <laughs> not on a daily basis is hard. Emails and pictures got both of them through it. But holding each other today, showing their love, makes it so much better. 